Between 1883 and 1929, the industrialist turned philanthropist Andrew Carnegie funded the construction of over 1,600 libraries in the United States. San Diego's was the first Carnegie Library in California. Since its founding in 1882, the San Diego Public Library had struggled to find adequate funding and a permanent home. Library supporters, however, were not discouraged. The Wednesday Club, an artistic and literary club of San Diego women, adopted the library as its special project. Led by Lydia Knapp Horton, the wife of downtown San Diego founder Alonzo Horton, the women began a library building fund. Lydia Horton began a correspondence with Andrew Carnegie, requesting pictures of library buildings he had sponsored. The philanthropist mailed a set of prints which the Wednesday Club exhibited as a fundraiser. Lydia Horton continued the correspondence, telling Carnegie in May 1899, the library needs of this place are very apparent. We feel more than ever the need of permanent quarters. Carnegie responded with the offer of $50,000 to build a suitable library building. The project immediately bogged down in debate over where to locate the new building. Several downtown sites were promoted. After several months, a half-block tract of land was purchased at 8th Avenue and E Street for $17,000. Construction bids were solicited in a national competition. The request for proposals called for a building as nearly fireproof as possible, using granite or brick. All rooms were to receive as much natural light as possible, as all Californians recognize the necessity of sunny rooms. The design competition was won by architects Ackerman and Ross, a New York firm that had recently designed a Carnegie Library in Washington, D.C. Construction began in December 1900. Sixteen months later, on April 23, 1902, the library opened. The completed building was beautiful, classical revival-style structure built of brick and covered with white cement, giving a marble appearance to the exterior. The new library reflected new and old attitudes of public librarianship. Separate reading rooms for men and women were normal practice for the day. A central delivery desk for requested books was also a time-honored practice. But the library's interest in service for children, apparent in the large children's room, was quite modern. More revolutionary still was a willingness to allow patrons into the library stacks to choose books themselves without a librarian's help. In 1902, the San Diego Public Library was among the first public libraries to offer open stacks. At the time, San Diego had a population of only 17,700 people. By 1910, the population had more than doubled and the library began to suffer from crowding. In a few more years, shelving covered every available wall surface. Short-term relief came from moving several departments to rented spaces in nearby buildings. Remodeling the Carnegie in 1930 added more floor space, but the need for a larger library was clear. At age 50, the venerable Carnegie Library was demolished. The new central library, designed for a city population of less than 350,000, was built on the same site and dedicated on June 27, 1954.